Thank you, Heather and Anthony. And Elsa is still a tropical storm, but about as close to being a hurricane without being called a hurricane that a tropical cyclone is. And that's why hurricane warnings were issued. In case you missed it, there's a big headline at 2 this afternoon, really 145, when finally, for the first time in about uh, almost 24 hours, the recon was able to get into the core of the tropical storm. So instead of estimating its strength from satellite and radar, they could really check it out. They found a lower pressure. They found high winds. In fact, recon has found some hurricane force winds. There'll be a new plane checking it out. Now uh, the intense colors you see there really shows you where the worst of the storm is. So just offshore now of Fort Myers and then Tampa, and we'll show you where the hurricane warnings are in a moment. But again, the hurricane warnings are on the West Coast. So what about where is it going to go? Nothing really has significantly changed. It's been with us over the last several hours. I'll take the or several days. Really, I'll take the clouds out and we'll zoom on in. And the forecast is for this tropical storm to become a hurricane. Uh, Certainly by overnight, uh, more than likely, even by 11 o'clock tonight, coming ashore down around Cedar Key, although everybody from Clearwater on through Cedar Key will be basically feeling what this hurricane, we think it's going to be a hurricane, has to offer. Now we're talking about a Category 1 hurricane, barely a Category 1 hurricane, and then weakening going right over about the Lake City area and then much weaker over Waycross. So that's where the core of the storm will go. It will weaken to tropical storm status and then barely a tropical storm over southeastern Georgia, but impacting all of our area. We're all under wind advisories, all under a flood watch, but let's break it down county by county right now. Anyhow, where the worst is going to be, where the core will be, and that's going to be for those of you in Columbia, Baker, Bradford and Union, simply because you're first out of where the system of cyclone will come out of the Gulf of Mexico. 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. will be your wettest and windiest. Gust to 70 in severe thunderstorms. We talked about possibly eight inches of rain, and that's where the highest risk of isolated tornadoes will be. We'll cover the rest of the counties in our area in just a few moments.